Rawr. I'm Darrell Bradford, and this is Advocacy Labs. Want to change the world? Here's how. Lesson four, the big win is close to home. It's the 1940s, and Columbia University sociologist Paul Lazarfeld and his colleagues are in the midst of conducting some of the first empirical studies of U.S. presidential campaigns. What they found shocked them and set the stage for the next half century of electoral research. By carefully tracking the differences between campaigns, the environments they were run in, and their results, they concluded that presidential campaigns had little effect on voting decisions. Instead, they showed that presidential election outcomes could be predicted with considerable accuracy by outside variables, like the state of the economy. They called these factors the fundamentals. They argued that campaign strategy sessions, stump speeches, debate prep, door knocking, and advertisements were mostly irrelevant to the outcome. In other words, if only the fundamentals matter, campaigns do not. So should advocates give up on trying to influence elections? Maybe not. More recent research, using more sophisticated experimental methods, has found a small but positive effect of campaign tactics on voting outcomes. For example, the liberal advocacy group Acronym agreed to partner with academics on the effects of an eight-month, $8.9 million social media advertising campaign on the 2020 presidential election. They found that there were small but significant shifts in voting among the targeted voters. The advertising campaign increased voting among Biden leaners by 0.4 percentage points and decreased voting by Trump leaners by 0.3 percentage points. Other studies have found that more personalized outreach has an even larger impact. Door-to-door -door canvassing increases turnout by an average of about 2.5 percentage points. Volunteer phone calls raise it by about 1.9 points. But to get even bigger results, you have to be choosy about which races you're trying to influence. Your money will go much further in a local election than a national one. And experimental studies show that spending money on challengers results in significantly better results than spending money on incumbents. But there's one thing that you can be sure about when spending money on elections. The candidates themselves will appreciate it. Political scientists Joshua Kala and David Brookman found that when asked, is it Brookman? Yeah. Okay, sorry, sorry. Brookman. 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 Uh, Political scientists Joshua Kala and David Brookman found that when asking for a meeting with an elected official, you are three to four times more likely to get the meeting if you identify yourself as a donor instead of a local constituent. How have you gotten involved in elections? Add it to the comments below. Want to learn more? Check out the links in the description to all the research, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button to get notified of the next episode of Advocacy Labs.